So in order to find the extension of spring Q, we have to start by working out the force acting on it and then using F equals Kx since we're given the spring constant. And the best way to approach this question is to consider taking moments about P. If we do moments about P, then we can ignore any force acting on P. So let's look at that. The 18 Newton centre of mass of the sign is going to create a clockwise moment and the force in spring Q is going to create an anti-clockwise moment. And of course they're going to be equal. So that tells us that 0.65 times 18 is going to be equal to 0.65 plus 0.25 times the force in Q. This means then that FQ is equal to 0.65 times 18 all divided by 0.8, which if you put that lot into your calculator, gives you the answer being 0.63 newtons. So now it's just a question of bunging in the values into F over K equals X. So that's going to be 14.63 over 240. 0.06. 0.061 even. So the answer is D.